Understanding plant water use. Evapotranspiration. Evapotranspiration is the term used to describe water consumed by plants over a period of time. It is the water loss occurring during the process of evaporation and transpiration. Transpiration refers to the water loss through the leaves of the plants. Evaporation occurs when water changes to vapour on either soil or plant surfaces. Evapotranspiration is an important process in the water cycle because it is responsible for 15% of the atmosphere's water vapour. Evapotranspiration occurs most when the plant is actively growing, transpiring and respirating, thus leaving the stomata open and this is the place of the most water loss. More than 99% of the water used by an irrigated crop or turf is drawn through the roots and transpires through the leaves. Only a small amount, around 1% of the water taken up by a plant, is actually used to produce plant tissue. Keeping track of evapotranspiration in your local area can help you more efficiently irrigate your turf. So how is evapotranspiration estimated? The two most important factors needed to estimate evapotranspiration are 1. The local weather conditions 2. The turf grass itself, which can also include the type of grass, planting date and its development. Local weather conditions are important because evapotranspiration is driven by weather factors and can determine the drying power of air. You can accurately predict the evapotranspiration in a given area using these four local weather variables. Soil radiation, temperature, humidity and wind. The data from these measurements are then plugged into equations that accurately predict the daily rate of evapotranspiration for those conditions. These values are then called reference evapotranspiration. So thanks for watching guys, this very short video on evapotranspiration. Please like, comment, subscribe.